What's poppin' Eagles? I'm Sarah with no H. <laughs> and I'm Hunter with an H. And welcome to a new season of Eagle Eye. We have a brand new show and a brand new cast to show you. And we're super excited for this year of Eagle Eye. Right. I can't wait to see what crazy, interesting, and cringeworthy stories we come up with this year. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. But sometimes we're on fire and other times we are burning. So let's get this ball rolling with something new. All right. What's it going to be? So I heard that Reese got the scoop on our new principal, Mr. Mons. So let's check it out. All right. So I'm Drew Munns, principal at Apple Valley High School. So I have two little people. My son is a fifth grader, my daughter is a third grader, and being dad to them is job number one. I love the diversity of my previous school, so it was really about looking for a school that, you know, probably looked much like that work and where I believe that we can create opportunities for kids. And I was looking for schools that were very comparable to that. And uh, Apple Valley opened up late as Mr. Bolsoni uh, had opportunities to go on to some new opportunities for him. And uh, when that opened up, I pursued it with all of my heart because um, I really believe that we're better off by having the rich diversity and experiences that we do in this building. I think Mr. Munns is pretty cool. I've seen him in the hallways and he seems to know the kids really well and they get along and it's kind of cool having a new principal, especially as my sophomore year, I get to like know other people. It's really cool. Some of my days have me working with a lot of adults and I can be in meetings sometimes. So the fact that I can start off every morning and say hi and fist bump and see how kids are coming into this building to about 1,800 kids, that's the highlight of my day. So every morning when I walk into school, he's always outside um, greeting people and it just gives a sense of involvement in the school. Uh, as I talk with staff around here, it's amazing how many people live in this community, how many people grew up in this community and how proud they are of that. Um, you hear that from kids, you hear that from, from our families, and that's an incredible structure and that not many places can say that they've got that. There's something really unique going on here at Apple Valley High School. Mmm, interesting. He seems pretty cool, but all I can say that his morning fist bumps always cracks <laughs> me up. All right, okay, let me tell you a story. I was just trying to get class, beelining it into the building, and somehow he managed to have a full conversation with me. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> that is so cool. But welcome to AVHS, Mr. Mons. But let's move on in our show. I suppose. So, I heard some news about Apple Valley's favorite hype man. Who would that be? Robert? Of course. Outside of his killer style, there's a lot more to him than you may know. That's very true. And we got in a little closer to find out who Robert really is. So let's see Maria with the story. Many of you guys here at AVHS know our school security monitor, Robert, but not everybody knows the real Robert. No, I grew up in the Bronx. It was pretty tough. I was the youngest of six, and I lost uh, two siblings and a sister-in-law due to bad choices, drugs and alcohol. My dad passed away 18 years ago. You know, I, I think I got stronger from that. He has learned from his actions and spent time becoming better and cleaning up. The struggles I went through when I was a teenager, I did a lot of bad things. I made a lot of bad choices when I was younger. And I, I've since cleaned up my life, so to speak. And it made me stronger. Why? Because what I learned in my past made me a better person today, meaning that I'm able to give away what was so freely given to me in, in uh, friendships and love and unconditional love. This has been one of our own, Robert Cologne. Just keep clean, hang out with the right people and you'll be okay. Reporting from Eagle Eye, I'm Maria Rodriguez. What an interesting dude. So inspiring about hearing how his ambitions achieved his goal and how he was able to recover from rough spots in his life. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better. He truly inspires me to keep pushing and trying my best. And one day, I'm going to be driving a Lambo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, with big enough ambition, you can get anything done. But I'm going to be driving a Ferrari, so sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> but will our generation last long enough to achieve these goals, or will vaping hold forever? I know. Right now we're having a huge epidemic on vaping and it's affecting our community, students, people, and our society. For real, and I don't even know all the harms that it could do. Who really yeah. does? I know. So we've decided to report on this issue in this show. Here's a look into one of our generation's newest epidemics, vaping. As you know, vaping has become very popular among teens, so we interviewed students and teachers on what their thoughts and opinions are on vaping. When kids hear the advertisements on the radio, they're not promoting the fact that there is nicotine in e-cigs. The wrong messages are being sent and they're not sending the information about how dangerous and deadly vaping and e-cigs can be. 
there's been a couple deaths within the U.S. Um, just with vaping and teen deaths as well. So I think that the real consequence is themselves. Put all the chemicals aside, but the risk of addiction. Teenagers, their brain is not fully formed and they become addicted to substances much easier than an adult. We asked Eddie, a student at AVHS, why he thinks teens are getting addicted to vaping. It's kind of a fad right now. Lots of people are doing it, so might as well try it out. And, and you do something that has nicotine in it, probably going to get addicted to it. Don't like it in school so much just because when you walk into a bathroom and it smells like strawberry surprise, it's not my favorite thing in the world. As health teachers, we've been educated on uh, e-cigs and vaping and hopefully we can start sharing that information with some of our classes here in Apple Valley. So you now have a little bit more understanding of the negative effects of vaping on teens. Reporting for Eagle Eye, I'm Tashina. Wow, I'm gonna stay away from that. I don't want to take any of the risks associated with that. For real. I want my lungs to be working when I'm 50. Right. So I think we should get off this low note, maybe a little higher note. <laughs> yeah, I think personally that we should do something a little bit more fun and upbeat. Right, so I heard that a few Eagle Eye students got the down low on Mr. Tinder. What? I'm super excited to see what that's about. So let's roll the tape. For me, um, what makes family is, is love. I think that what, that's what grounds, uh, grounds me when I hear the word family, is that there are people who care about you, who want to look out for you, and uh, have the best in mind for you. Good. I'm doing well, man. Doing well. I, I had no choice. My, my my parents gave me no option. There was no there was not a fallback plan. Uh, they they expected things from me, and I'm thankful that they expected things from me. But my dad, um, he was actually the first uh, African American firefighter in the city of Kilcup. And one of the things, whenever I talked about, hey, things were difficult, things. He would always tell me, hey, I know things are tough, but you're not the only one that went through tough stuff. That's cool. Mr. Tinder is such an amazing guy. Yeah, he works hard and he deals with a lot of stuff. Yeah, he does. And he really cares about students. So thank you, Mr. Tinder, for all you do. But I've got to tell you something that happened over the summer. All right. Just go quick, because I'm going to start talking about my summer, and then we're not going to do our job, and we're not going to end up anchoring the show. <laughs> okay, so I got in my car, right. and like, legit, it would not turn on. <laughs> well, was it dead? I mean, yeah. So, did you have friends that were driving with you? Yeah. So why don't you just jump your car? Because <laughs> nobody knew how to jump a car. Uh, I guess. I found out how to do it because it was mandatory because I drive such an old car. But for those who don't know how to jump a car and new drivers, we've got a little guide to know how to jump a dead car. Well, I need all the lesson I'm going to get. So, Cody, let's see what you got. Oh, man. Man, I left my lights on. Looks like I'm going to have to jump start my car. Do you know how to jump start a car? If not, today we're going to teach you. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to locate your jumper cables. Oftentimes they're located in the trunk of a car. After that, you're going to want to pop your hood and locate where the battery is. Never touch the jumper cables ends together. First step is you're going to connect the positive terminal to the dead battery. Connect the positive then the negative terminals of the charged battery. Connect the negative side of the dead battery to an unpainted piece of metal. After all the cables are connected, wait two to three minutes to let the battery recharge. In the meantime, make sure all the lights are off in the dead car and make sure the car that you're using to jump the dead car is running. After two to three minutes, it should start right on up. That's how you jump start a car. I'm Cody Zulo, reporting for Eagle Eye. It's safe to say I probably won't need to call my mom whenever my car dies. <laughs> it's simple, but it's still kind of complex. So if you're comfortable with it, go for it. But always be careful. I got some bad news, Hunter. Okay, what's it gonna be? <laughs> well, we're at the end of our show. You're lying. Yeah, so we gotta wrap this up. All right, it's been a lot of fun for the first episode of the 2019-2020 Eagle Eye season. Absolutely, and I'm super excited for what else we have in stores for our peers. And I also hope that you guys all have a great school year. And for me as well, try your hardest this year and have fun. Tuning out from the TV studio, this is Hunter Bertram from Eagle Eye.
And this is Sarah with no H. <laughs> wow, that's really an issue for you. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> okay, okay. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.